Welcome back to part four of my Astrogoth Iron Hand Let's Play, Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time, facing off against Skaven at Karak Vlag, going to claim ourselves another provincial capital. It's a close victory, medium casualties, not actually going to lose anybody to the order resolve, but I think we can definitely do better than medium casualties. So, we'll dive on in and fight this one. Let's splat some rats. In we go. As always, thanks for your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions. All greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming, as well as those unique name suggestions over on part one. Let's do it. Let's route some rats. I should say as well, thanks everyone for sharing who they're going to be playing as first and, uh, and which campaign. Um, looking forward to hearing your own thoughts uh, and what you enjoy most about the Chaos Dwarves. Uh, once you all get hands on uh, when the DLC releases tomorrow. In fact, what's the kind of one feature or mechanic that so far impressed you most with the Dowie Czar? Let me know down in the comment section. Let's start deployment. Let's just have a scan around for the best bit of wall to attack. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this little corner here because if I'm not mistaken, there's only that one tower there. There is another tower over here, but it'll only have a range out that way. So if we approach from here, from this nice hill, happy days. Oh, I wish we had some artillery. I'm hoping we'll get to see the Iron Demon and Magma Cannon today. Let's send the uh, all centaurs in. And Nathan. Astrogoth as well. Gordit's in. In fact, I'm going to have... Yeah, you know, I'll have you guys group together. And then my Chaos Dwarves. I'm probably going to use them more than anyone else here to really push on. I'll probably have to use all my units, though, because there's just so many Skavens. 2,000 of them. But they'll... The uh, Chaos Dwarf infantry will lead the charge. Is that... Nicely armoured. Some have shields. Laborers, I will actually have you out in front just to screen my troops as we advance. Or in fact, I'll probably charge you out in front so that the towers focus on you guys first. So let's do that. Go for the gates. Go for the gates. Send you guys up there. That tower's not actually active. Nice. Yeah, there's that tower over there. What do they got up here? Night Runners. Yes, they'll fire when we get a bit closer. Actually, where's those regular units of hobgoblins? They're here. Leave them to defend my missile troops because they're sure to plop some uh, clan rats everywhere. Why aren't you guys firing? Oh, you've like bugged out on the wall. GG. Thank you very much. Yeah, there we go. Called it, didn't I? Gates down. In fact, then, if I can get the blunderbusses through... Just keep more busy here because then the blunderbusters can just do so much damage. Yeah, Gordut's getting there as well, mate. Roll your dice. No, going through the front gate, guys. Oh, they're going up the ladders. Damn. Go, go. Yeah, because now these night runners are going to fight. Go after them. You guys go back here. 
Fine, we're keeping them all busy for now. Get a few volleys off. Okay, right, turn them around. Fire into these guys. How long's that last? 28 and that last 32. So we want to pop that first to weaken them. And then pop that to imbue these guys with fire damage. And then they should just annihilate. I mean, they're clan rats. So they're nothing special. Shredded. That is utter perfection. Astrogoth, do it again. Yeah, archers, if you want to come up here, that'd be great. Yeah, going up that, those ladders confused them more than just going through the gate. See if I can get those guys out of it. So Astrogoth keep them all busy. Slap that on these guys. Fire damage. Perfect. Oh, you got clam rats on you guys here. That's fine. I can't wait for more blunderbusses. Yeah, keep them busy. Keep them here because then these guys can fire as well. Although, actually, I'm going to bring you guys down now behind them. They can get stuck in. You know what? You guys go over here. Where are the regular hobgoblins? You guys come in here. I'm just going to climb up ladders. That gate, guys, is perfectly usable. Could you could you please use it? Your wallies. I've got to save up enough to pop Flaming Sword of Ruin and the Ash Storm at the same time. Oh, just shredding. Pull back here a little bit so they're a little bit closer. If you please. No, nope, there's the victory. That's it. Job done. Happy days. Ninety-five loss.
editing heart here. I did a test with the order resolve because I know some of you guys are interested in these uh, kind of comparisons. Um, did a comparison with the order resolve. And uh, the order resolve medium casualties gave us 681 losses. So, yeah. Past me definitely did a good thing fighting it. Oh, look at those kills of the blonde bus. 303, 299. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Probably could have got a few more laborers by hunting them down, but. Um. We get some labor just by taking it as a tower, which is what we're going to do. We can't increase it because our conclave just grabbed another seat. That's fine. Uh, probably towards the mid game, we'll have a bit more influence to throw around, perhaps. Um, well, I guess I'll, I'll probably be saving it and just rushing through the um, through the Tower of Zar. I don't know if I'll actually utilize this that much until I've kind of confederated with all the factions that I, that I want to get all the legendary lords. Occupy his tower. That's just the pop-ups coming out. We've already had them, I think. This is a new mission. Capture and occupy something belonging to any of the following enemies of the War Host of Tsar, Karakazul. 1,000 gold to our treasury. Okay, I mean... Uh, down south of us is where we'll eventually be going. Got to try and keep an eye on these guys. Have I got any... No, I can't get any heroes out to see where they go. I'm actually kind of worried they could potentially threaten me over here. Need to get that army... I mean, I could throw in some goblin laborers. They're fairly cheap to recruit from here just to give me a few extra troops to keep them at bay and then disband them later on, I guess. It's better than nothing. Um, I mean, I'd love to get more hobgoblin archers actually in here. They'd be, they'd be quite useful. But let's just throw in some laborers. Make this army look a little bit scarier. We want to get the Iron Demon and the Magma Cannon over to Ashgoth as soon as possible. I would like to try and do this expedition this this uh, mission i was gonna say quest i guess it is a quest um which is part of progressing the great drill of hashut uh, we need to win that battle get more labor and ancestor relic locations become available um i was gonna get rid of this um to get the public order building in but i think i'm gonna leave it at the moment because we kind of need all the gold we can get let's take a look up here what's its resource it's marble Ooh, so it's raw material. So, okay, we, what we want to do here, then leave that factory there. And we want to get two outposts here now and make this our raw material province. That also, when we get the wagon engineering research, we get plus 15% raw materials local province. Okay, so then we want this one switched over to be industry, which actually is, is fairly easy for us to do right now because all we all we need to do on that front is actually just convert um, one more of these to a factory. Um, actually, yeah, I was thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert you to a factory here. I'm going to cancel that. Cancel this as well. I know we need the raw materials because we want to get this upgraded, but we should have that in the next couple of turns. I'm going to do it, build anything else. Can cancel that. Give me my gold back. Convert that to a factory because then that'll actually be able to hold out maybe a little bit better against the vampires. We saw how much damage that did. Last thing we want was them having a clear path through to my capital. Okay, we've got that army building up as well. With that being the case, now I'm going to go for Hobgoblin Archers instead. I know they cost a lot, but... Yeah, give me them. And then next turn I can throw in a couple of Hobgoblin Sneaky Gits, maybe. How much is their upkeep? Ooh, quite a bit, actually. Maybe not. Good to do two Sneaky Gits, two Archers. Yeah. Just protect ourselves. That's fine. What I'll probably do with that factory is we'll get in the conversion from raw materials to gold to start with. Because we've got a reasonable armament supply right now. We're going to wait another turn to pop out a convoy for these guys to get back. And how many turns actually until the resource... Oh no, seven turns. Okay, we're a ways off that. Okie dokie. Um, so yeah, what do I want to do here? Could upgrade you, but we're saving elsewhere for our capital. So... I mean, yeah, more, more gold is going to be good for supporting my other army. Um, That's also going to be useful. I'd go for that. 
But I think I'm going to leave that slot free for now just so I don't spend too many raw materials. What are we doing with you next? Evasion. And then into Hellhammer, definitely. Actually, I just thought I'm going to get that in now because we're going to be lower than we won't be able to get our capital up as quickly as I thought. But we convert that outpost to a factory anyway. Um, replenish troops. Do we need to? No, not for that battle. So instead, I'm going to go for Stabius, which upkeep costs four cobble units in our army, 20%, and it buffs their experience gain. So eventually, what I want to do is get um, Gordots over to this army and be in here. And actually, I'm going to name you for now. Our, you'll be our Tim for the series. So feel free to suggest some Tim, the, you know, Chaos Dwarf Enchanter themed ideas. But he's just our Tim. I'm, I'm, in fact, Tim, he's just a, a base level. Tim the Enchanter right now. Um... But yeah, feel free to give title suggestions to him. If you don't get the Tim the Enchanter reference, I highly recommend you watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail. No. Absolute classic. Technology. Um, refinery come on. Output plus 10%. We've just got to go through Harbor Guilds first. I was going to go through Tallest Towers, though, actually. Get me some more control, because that's always Fendrin useful. This is going to be a mining region, so we will want to send some laborers over here oh, eventually. God. Um, I'm going to be going down just one production. That's actually upgrading them in two turns, so we'll need a fair bit. Yeah, it's just going to start to deteriorate, and then it would affect public also. No, let's not switch any over just yet, and let's not accept new ones in here just for the time being. That's all good. Right, let's end the turn. See where that unit goes. I think they they just going to ambush. Uh oh, what's this? A sticky situation. An exceptionally stupid goblin laborer, likely discontented with his meager lot in life, has slipped and fallen into the machinery upon which he was working. I shouldn't laugh. Um, this has temporarily slowed down production while his entrails are unwound and the mess is cleared away by his peers. Such a thing threatens to halt production entirely. What steps do you take? Invest in safety equipment by limiting the movements of the laborers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they're having a terrible time. Or throw more bodies at the problem. Further injection of laborers should see the factory running without any loss in output. Minus five control all provinces. So, yeah, that, that's not good. <sighs> We're going to have rebellions on top of all the other problems. I'm going to have to invest in safety equipment, which sounds like shackle them. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I can get you, though. Oh, no. How can you run? Oh, not cool, guys. Not cool. You can now go past me and hit that settlement that I've just taken, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just go past me. What in the sneaky skate? I mean, that's 100% skaven sneakiness. I've been had. Um, Nathan. You're near later. I love it. Um, Bulgore or murderous charge and seething. Uh, it's not seething. Seeing red. Oh, right. That locks off the other. So it could be a temple guardian. So it could be more about melee defense buffs. Yep. Or trusted a effective agent and then trusted agent. We're not going to use him on the campaign as an agent. He's going to stay in our army. Uh, although training experience, that, that's kind of nice, but yeah, not 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 worth it. Um, but good to know. Bull Sinister Torx can be quite useful, and you can power them up as agents. That's good. Um, murderous charge. What does that do? Oh, noise. And seeing red melee attack and weapon strength. Yeah, probably go through that. But first, bull gore. Can I? I can't block them, can I? No. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Um, a spell cast that can do that. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to force march you. Ah, no. Need my walk 
I don't think force marching will... Um... Oh, yes. Oh, it blocks him. Oh. Worth it. Worth it. Ready, sneaky, scaven. Right, where have the vampires gone? Okay, there's one there. You're taking attrition because not enough corruption. Cool, so they're going to have to surely pull back. That's good. Yeah, I, I can't recruit anymore right now. Um, unless I don't build the coat building, unless I go for this one, which is raw materials gets turned into 300 gold, 150. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Throw that in there. Um, I'd actually, yeah, love to instantly build that. Um, so I'm gonna just, just okay. That's gonna require ooh, workload increases. That's, that's gonna potentially cause some problems. But hopefully we'll be fighting these guys. And we'll get loads of laborers from routing them all and capturing them all. We can send out a convoy. It's gonna have to be for gold or armaments though. So what have you guys got? You've got the black dragon, lovely. Um, and yeah, what do we need? We need laborers and raw materials. And also, got, we need everything. And also gold and yeah. Um, we don't want to be too far. Although that is, that is rather tempting. Nine turns for a thousand laborers. Can we last nine turns though? Like that injection of cash. Uh, Grungzint. Yeah, give us that much. Three hundred. Mm, doesn't seem great. Okay, it was that much. We'd get more from Grungzint. That's only three more turns for another hundred, basically. Hundred and nine. Uh, I'm going to need laborers. But for 179, that's not worth it. That's probably worth it. Let's go to Drakenhof. 440 armaments. I'm not using them. Let's get 766 laborers. I can't increase it, can I? No, it's like a fixed amount for that. Off you go. Get me more laborers. We're going to need them. That other one pulled back here, I think. Yeah, I'm sneaky skaven. I'm just going to slow it down. They've rushed over that way. Great. And the other army's come back there. Yeah, I can't catch you. Uh, great. You're a factory, so you'll be a minor settlement battle, but... I can go hit you, but then you're just going to run. I mean, that army should not be able to threaten the... Capital too much. Because of the movement in the mountains, isn't it? I've got to go. I think it's if I just chase them, they're going to probably... I've got to go into ambush, I'd have thought, here, and then finish them off next turn. I could force march you guys over to that one, wherever you pull back. You've got the army there. I'm worried about that army getting intercepted. We've got a full stack there. If I... We're going to go... We're going to lose 100% efficiency, actually. Upgrade that. I'd have, to, I'd have to force it through, which we're not going to achieve. The only other thing I could look to do to get these guys over to Astrogoth sooner would be... Can I jump over the mountains? Oh, nuts. I can't. Okay, I'm going to go... You can force a march here, but you definitely can't come and attack me, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Come down here, because if we see vampires coming, we can just hold up in there. Research finished all his towers. I'm going to start going through hotter furnaces now, I think. Um, if there's anything I want to get here. No. Not yet. Any more turns, I'm going to have to wait for that. Um, I actually think it's probably worth actually getting that going. Just to shore ourselves up a little bit more. But we, again, we may need to cancel that if the... If the vampires head towards us. You guys want peace, don't you? Yeah, no. If you can't... It's going to go there. I hope I can reach you. You're raiding me. And what's this? Convoy encounter. Rats in a tunnel. 
This route seems endless. Uh, our beleaguered convoy has traveled for what seems like forever with no end in sight. Surely a detour through subterranean tunnels would get our goods to their destination sooner. The uh, pernicious Skaven, however, may have something to say about it. Take the shortcut. Fight the battle. Reduce journey time. Yeah, take, we, we can handle that. It's an opportunity to intercept, not a... Um, not an ambush. We can just order resolve that. Hopefully get a good number of captives. 261. Yeah, more labor right now is what we need. Call oh, the man, the man eaters and the black dragon. Beautiful. Give me the captives. Your rival was has claimed to have our seat. Oh, I was gonna go for that one next. Yeah, damn it. Uh, in which case, yeah, I'll go for quartermaster, which gives me a random weapon or armor ancillary every three turns. Onto the extra movement range, but there's no point ousting them anytime soon. Bet I can't reach you. Oh, I totally can. And I should be able to chase you as well. Is that other army gone? It's just over there. Vampires are back here. Oh, no, hello. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I think what we have to do is Astrogoth smash here. Come on down, grab those units, deal with you, swap them over, and you're going to have to push through the mountains against the Skaven. Great. Yeah, they're going to run. Yeah, that's it. Run away. Run away. Oh, please be within range. Yes. Come here. I'm going to fight it myself just because I think we'll get way more captives than the order resolve. And also because these Skaven have like, peed me off. So yeah, don't worry, it'll be a swift one. For those that are like, oh, not a Skaven, another Skaven slave battled manually fought. Don't worry. It shall be swift. Um, we just want to gun down as many of them as we can. You guys go like so. Astrogoth go out in front here. And then you, laborers, are in charge of dealing with your clan rat spawning countermeasures. need to draw them to us. <laughs> Move forward a little bit. I'm just going to see if I can get you in behind them and then into the forest. They forget about you and then we um, take them out. Here we go. Oh, you spawned in amongst my mad hatters. Get wrecked. Are the, the visual effects slashing? 
little effects that come up when units are attacking. Is that something new? Or have I just not zoomed in for a little while and not seen that? Okay, we split their army in two. That's fine. Just heard another one. Here they come. Bring that lord down. in assassins broken pull it back Blunderbusters, get on through. Wagus. Blunderbusters are back, back in place. Get the ball centaurs out. Slow them all down. Swords, what I need next. If that Ashwin's still going to be going, fire it off anyway. Oh, yeah, that's how to break them. They've already retreated as well, so once they go, that's it. Get him. Get him. 
All right, let's keep chasing him. Take down as many of them as you can. Slow them all down. They are out of here. Size of victory. Let's see how many captives we've got. Hopefully a decent amount. 69 last. Gaily. Great result. Three hundred and four. Okay, we captured six hundred and nine. That'll do. Astragoth, right, I can force march you, Astragoth, over here. So I can either sit in the settlement. This is impudence. Where are you guys gonna go? That's the question. I don't think they can go up this way. Ascoth could probably jump across. I think I'm going to get his army sorted first. We could pull these guys in, but I actually... I don't want this army wandering off. So if anything, I kind of want it pulled in here to attack. So I'm actually going to cancel the upgrade there. We can always force it through with the number of uh, laborers that we've now got. But yeah, I don't want them wandering off too far. I want them going, you know, if anywhere, probably just in here. So let's pop in some more troops. So we'll switch them around. Iron Demon, Magma Cannon uh, into this army. We'll swap out the unpaid interns and unwilling volunteers. I would swap over Gordots, but right now there's still quite a lot of Hobgoblin units in Ascos army, so he's going to benefit staying in here a little bit longer. I mean, some more cavalry in Ascos army wouldn't go amiss, but for now I'm going to stick to kind of my theming um, that we've got. At least this will be useful for you guys facing off against Skaven. So, can you recruit another... You could recruit another unit for me. Um, whether or not we've got the actual upkeep, the money to pay for it, especially if we end up losing one of those. Means to be seen. I am... Um, I am going to give you guys, yeah, one more archer. It will actually bank, uh, bankrupt us, but um, that's fine. In fact, have I got anything that can use gold upgrades right now? It's just that that goes up with gold, doesn't it? No, I'll leave that. I'll just I'll think I can throw in a load of extra hobgoblins. I'll just go for one because I'm going to be a little bit off. We should soon gain it back, hopefully. Keep an eye on them there. So, yeah, this army is now going to go deal with this one. And Ascoth's back over here. Then we can send them to do that quest or we can teleport to that, whatever. That is fine. Unassigned skill point. Who's that for? Oh, our convoy. Right. Hidden stores, please. And cargo capacity. Nice. Right. 
in the turn. Where do the vampires go? Just going to slow things down because I want to see where the are going. And slow down again. Here we go. Come on. Come and attack this. Yes. Oh, it's a Pyrrhic victory. Oh, no way. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Done. Taken. Thank you. What's up? I kind of wonder in those elements, why doesn't the AI just go... Nah, I won't do that, but then I guess it would never attack, would it? There'd be instances where it's just not strong enough, so it would just sit there. 555 kills. Roddy Eck. Um, Laborers. We've still got... I mean, we've still got plenty of them. We're going to get 124. Yeah, more. More, 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 more. Amazing. Ashkoth can still come over here. Finish them off. Or actually... Not because wherever they go, the garrison's going to be strong enough. Or they'll just raise more dead, won't they? So I, I do actually need to go after it. Convoy cab, the ambush. Stealth is possibly not the strong suit of our would-be ambushers who visibly await our convoy from some rather questionable hiding places. We could avoid them easily, of course, but it almost seems a disservice not to show them what a true ambush looks like. Yeah. Get wrecked. Thanks, silly ogres. Which is you crush them in battle. There we go. When I could reach you. I'm going to go into ambush and go here. So, yeah, I can upgrade you. Um, but I'm actually just going to wait one more turn and then upgrade my provincial capital as I was intending to do because then we'll be able to get the high quality assembly line um, and get even more armaments at the cost of raw materials. So we need to get mining operations up and running over here. And we currently have no mines. Um, I mean, we could go this way. They had another army though. I should go over here though to deal with these guys. First one I get all oh, the wolf boys. Yeah, perfect. They can go to that army. Um, <laughs> get cargo capacity. Keep going up. Noise, noise, noise. Where are you going to go? I'm going to see them. Oh, yeah. We're actually on fast forward anyway. That's fine. It's quite quick. I just want to know where you're going. Oh, I didn't trigger the ambush. That's fine. You're in force march. You're over there. I might be able to reach, though. Nathan the Annihilator. Uh, through our see it, slay it, sorted. <laughs> That's a fantastic reference. See it, slay it, sorted. Internal security campaign. It has become apparent that a radical malcontent within the ranks of the Infernal Guard has been squirreling away weapons for some nefarious purpose. Perhaps he seeks in vain, of course, to challenge the natural order. Uh, as you might expect, a fitting ag tag um, agonizing and public example has been made of the would-be traitor, but this has slowed down our recruitment plan somewhat. Um, though a true servant of a shirt would have nothing to fear. Character wounded. Torture him and seize the stash. Oh, it's actually Nathan. Oh, no. We would get some more armaments, though. He would be wounded. Or leniency. Um, I'm sorry to do this to you, Nathan. But um, I want the armaments, mate. Back in five turns. It's okay. Yeah, and you're in force march. So. Die, vampires die. Ooh, crown of skulls. Ward save. Hello. And a Vargulf. I'm hoping that's another one I can steal. Yep. Yeah, Yoink. Gives me the hunger. 
Doesn't give me any fire weakness though. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. That's me army. Yeah, not not weakened at all. So um stick him. So I could push over here actually and get this done. Uh, I really want to see the Iron Demon and Magma Cannon in action though. Uh which would be perfect for this one. That's just relic locations. We can teleport over to that and then keep moving, can't we? What's 500? We can afford it. Bada bing, bada boom. Can't order resolve it. Uh, it's close victory localities. We'll be fighting it. Uh, we'll be opening next episode fighting it. Uh, sorry to tease you there right at the end. Uh, but yeah, we'll be diving into this battle at the start of the next episode, which will be out on Friday, facing off against the Karazakrak expedition. Uh, there's Scalf the Overseer coming in as well. We've got our Iron Demon and Magma Cannon. Should absolutely annihilate the full Stowie. Until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Until the next one, ciao for now.